nurse. It was very easy for me to go, I'm not a nurse anymore. I'm now a mum and now I'm creatively designing the world around me. And But always with spirituality and, you know, astrology and then human design seeping in and just like working people out. It's all, the thing is, I'm everything. You know, I'm still a nurse. I'm still doing creative work. I'm, st- I'm doing everything because as either MG, like a bit of everything, or it's just me being me, like I am nothing and everything, you know. Welcome to Whole and Unleashed, a podcast about coming home to ourselves. I'm your host, Jessica Locke, a holistic mindset, strala yoga, and human design guide. This podcast is not about telling you what to do. It's about sharing stories and tools to connect to your inner wisdom and maybe give you an extra nudge towards living wholeheartedly. Because deep down, only you know what's best for you. We'll be talking mindset, business, recovering from burnout, human design, transitions, and so much more. Let's dive in, shall we? Hi, Joe. Thank you so Hi, much darling. for joining me today. Hi. <laughs> it's Good so to lovely. See you. Yes, Yay. likewise. We met at like human design training. As, it's been a year ago. Yes. I know. Over a year I, know. Ago. I know. Oh and my we're, gosh. Sort of, we're clinging on to each other, aren't we? All of us like we're like, we never... yes, like more. <laughs> Sometimes I check the Slack. Like, is there messages? Even though like I don't talk don't to I, do? I, like, I just I want more of that energy. I do, I do like every day. I'm like, hello. And then I, we just have to start the conversation, I guess, don't we? You know. Hello, yeah. everyone. You know. Hi, until we get like warm up to each other again <laughs> but I know yeah. everybody's missing it <laughs> I know I totally am I yeah totally am. yeah so thank yeah. you for joining me today Joe. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself a little mini intro here who, who is Joe? <laughs> oh gosh well I mean you know that feels like quite a big question and I look inside what does that mean I'm like looking over for an answer on my curtain um <laughs> kaleidoscopic rainbow face Ooh. fuzzy you know fuzzy humanoid who feels it all and reflects it back and you know there's a lot to me like darling but ultimately yeah. I am calm and happy and I've always been calm and happy you know um but I'm also not afraid to like cry at you while I smile <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, so if you asked me like when I was 16, I'd have said that and then 26 yeah. and then now and then probably say the same in 40 years. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was so <laughs> moving and unexpected. I loved it. I love oh. it. <laughs> I think introduction should be kind of like this with a little thing, a little bit of you instead of what you do, <laughs> where you yeah, live and all those little. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you want that? Okay. Well, I live no, in <laughs> If you want to, I, I'm just like, I like, I love how unique, yeah. but also touching yours was not Aww. that you have to change it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a mom of three, nearly four, live in Dubai. I'm from England and I feel like I'm living a lot of my Sagittarius South Node vibes. Like I'm just sort of experiencing a lot of life moving into like my Gemini North Node, communicating more. It's very interesting. I'm just um, very of the world. Oh. you know um, are you yeah. I mean I'm so curious how you started your I, I don't want to call it a spiritual journey because it's not yeah. like oh I'm gonna do this it's kind of we're all spiritual yeah. we all have spiritual yeah. parts within us yeah how did you I guess embrace it yeah. <laughs> deeper into it well do you know it's I mean whatever this is has always felt a bit different you know like from the majority of people in my life you know Mm-hmm. So like I'd say I was about like 13, 14 and we used to go to a lovely little area in the Lake District in the UK with my, my parents and my family. I remember like I'd always be drawn to like astrology books like from a young age and then I got my first boyfriend and I literally got, I've told this story before, but I, I literally got a book, you know, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Oh, I I've actually read that one out. too. Yeah. At 15, 16, I wanted to work him out and I just feel like my journey sort of began as soon as people started coming into my life that weren't my family, you know what I mean? Like as soon as people came in, I was like, right, where do I sit with this? And it was just a very young age awareness of, I guess like modalities slipping in. 
mm-hmm. and they've always been there. So I've basically been trying to work myself out since I was about 15 and other people. And it's been like the greatest, easiest joy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Always reading. The thing is now though, dead quick, I was saying to someone the other day, like I, so when we moved here, I got rid of like 60 books and they were all like self healthy psychotherapy, interesting sociology books. And I got rid of loads of them. I donated them because I thought, I don't need to look at a book anymore. I feel like I know the answer and it's, I am the answer. Ooh, mom, Ooh. but like, you know, <laughs> no, that sounds profound and a bit gross, but like, I was just like, I used to go down these aisles in like a massive bookshop in Dubai years ago before the kids came along. And I just like devour and in true MG way, manifest generator way, yeah. I would pick these books up, skim through and then leave them. But my, I felt like my body and my mind craved more information, but actually I just don't need them anymore. Mm. Like they're lovely. They're so beautiful. Like I love people's words, darling, but I'm not attached to seeking. At the minute, I'm not attached to seeking the other's ideas of how I should be doing it. How interesting I know. I don't, I, don't think I've that before, you know. I don't think I've actually said that out loud, but that's sort of how it feels, yeah, you know. Yeah, yes, what? yes. I, under, I can resonate so much. I used to devour all these kind of books. I used to be just, I remember being in school. I would go to the library so much and it turns out that they had this award for the one who read the most per grade and then they would call my name and I would feel so embarrassed about it I was like why because I didn't want to attract attention as much and there's like oh this quiet girl oh look she reads a lot I'm like oh whatever I love my shirt I still wear it (laughs) but I just like all the world's (laughs) mysteries or inspiration or self-help I found it so fascinating but also perhaps like I reach after my Saturn return I'm like oh there's no fixing it's more like understanding myself yeah more like yeah. okay let's listen to what I want and what I need but I I had to do all that for my healing for the process whatever totally is darling. to tune into that little voice absolutely and that would have been more than I imagine a lot of people in your life were doing because it does yeah. feel a bit it feels I know there's like you know self-help world and the wellness and the books and the spiritualities are everywhere but I still don't know many people I know more people now who are our journey in the last year but Mm -hmm. I didn't know a lot of people sort of my age and certainly from just teenage years who would delve in deep into things you know yeah you know um, yeah 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 it's It's interesting right the more we talk about these things I feel like the more people like that pop up in our lives it's more like the bubble of things that have similar interests start appearing and I would have said five ten years I'm like where are you people like I felt so alone or like not alone as in like I just feel like I couldn't connect to people at that level yeah yeah and now but hey it's the the internet's done it. I say I don't read books and we've just done a beautiful course together for a year. All I did was read. I, le- I read human design and astrology still. But yeah. I guess I, my point is I'm not really looking for this will change your life book. Yes. Although human design would probably say that. <gasps> could, yeah. <wouldn't> it? <laughs> but like, uh, if you find out about it, maybe it will open a lot of doors for you or answers <laughs> that you're seeking. <laughs> yeah, there's reading. So I read a lot, but I guess it's on the internet. So you, I'm still reading books, but it's in a different format in now, a different I guess. Book. You know, so when you first learn about your astrology and then design, how Mm. did those moments feel? Oh, well, you know, um, you know, like we're all sort of associated with our sun sign and astrology, and that was great. And I was like, yeah, I'm a bit of a Virgo, fine. But it's just been in recent years since I've delved deeper into like our moon and where our Mercury placement is and all the houses. I mean, I've gone a bit deeper, hey, with that that's been beautiful and yeah. also quite insular in the my whole family aren't into it I mean my kids don't know what I'm on about if, if I mention right. it my husband cares less but um it feels I don't know supportive whenever I need it to be supportive darling you know and yeah. with human design it's definitely been this I think human design has been more accurate than astrology you know I know it sort of compiles lots of different areas and lots of different wisdoms but um human design to me has been the thing that spoke to us and me as family watching people around me more than anything darling you know yeah oh yes I can 
Yeah. Astrology, I never quite understood. For some reason, my mind was like, what? Okay, sun rising house. It's like, what yeah. language is that? It felt like math. Yeah. Maybe something about human design or maybe the way it's presented. I could yeah. trace back, oh, you meant this energy. You meant this. Oh, yeah. And then it helped me understand myself, but also the people around me. And I yeah. think actually I found out maybe because my dad doesn't have his exact birth time and my mom would never give me the exact birth time she's kind of in the I think she thinks we can back in the days in China you can give people curses if you know their exact birth time and location wow Wow. that's so interesting right so she never told me my birth time my sister is like any of our family but I found out like we were digging our birth certificate we're like we won't share with the world but like okay but I tested my dad's and he might be like the pure mg and I think that's what you are as well yeah. right I am, yeah. only, like two areas of fine and yeah. he is the fine unconsciously and I noticed how ever since I was young he would never be able to sit still literally because he has to pace from one way to another he has to be fixing something he has to break something to fix something and like getting him to sit down is the most impossible thing ever because of other elements of his design but also I notice his sense sensitivity to things yeah but from the lens of oh you didn't have the tools to cope in an Asian culture where you were you were told to like ignore all those signs and I I just watched him this this time that I was back in Peru for like a month and a half I'm like oh you have the mg energy like true or not because i don't have his exact design i can see yeah. it in you you are pacing yeah. non-stop we had this like yeah. family meeting for an hour like we're talking to relatives and my dad was just like kind of like rocking he's like i have to go i have to like walk around like he can't oh, so. yeah yeah so you think he might potentially just have the 34 20 yes yes he is me he is me but i guess we've got different <laughs> different, different sense yeah. yeah yeah it mine's undefined as well you know like oh sorry not undefined um unconscious unconscious right yeah so I'm just like I mean I remember like you know in our class I was like I'm a reflector because I have no active conscious energy right but as one of our gorgeous mentors would say it just booms through and there's no way you can ignore it are you you are are you a splenic projector yes splenic projector with the heart uh, and spleen what you yeah 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 so you're open to hey you know what I mean yeah yeah Yeah. yes and it explains sometimes like we feel at ease with each other we also have a lot of electromagnetics but it's also like okay as long as I'm calm I notice he can be calm as well otherwise he amplifies the emotions and he he doesn't know how to hold especially if it's like uncomfortable conversations (laughs) I can feel he's like oh what do I do with this I don't know how to process that (laughs) (laughs) what do I do with it (laughs) <laughs> yeah what do we do with it and me learning oh my own journey and like oh I amplify things or how do I hold yeah. emotions that are mine and not mine yeah yeah and then sort of being referred to as like non-emotional and actually I've always felt like the most emotional person in the room yes. you know what I mean yes <laughs> but then I guess that's because we're taking it in isn't it you know Yes. Well, the way I, I think I was talking to Courtney, we we're trying to like understand that because it didn't mean we don't have emotions. It means we just, yeah. we don't have an emotional charge. Like yeah. the, whatever we feel, it doesn't impact others as someone with a defined emotional center. Has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't know and if it's, it's like <laughs> confirmed, but I'm like, that's how it feels. Well, yeah. And that's it, isn't it? It's how it feels, but they get this, this sort of like a neutrality, almost like a, a potential for stillness until other people come in. I find that I do wake up quite calm and then as soon as people start I say people my children and family members (laughs) whoever I'm in their aura that is us being conditioned or that is us amplifying where they're at there's a lot of holding there's a lot of holding space for anyone who enters into our calm into our space you know so we might start quite neutral yeah and that should be supportive and comforting and the best place for us hey And then other people come in like, you know, bugger it up, don't they? (laughs) Right, right. And like, you're like, what do you want? Why are you disturbing me with this energy? But I I, I guess once we find out about their designs, then we can, oh, understand. It's like, they're not trying to be annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bugger away. I'm joking. Yeah. (laughs) What's your profile, Jess? I'm a four what? six. 
Oh, you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What Hi. about you? Were you six two or two four? I'm, I'm two four. Yeah. Oh, you're two four. So how yeah, yeah. has it felt for you when you read about those energies? Like, other than resonating, you're like, oh. Oh well, you will get the four. Hey, with me, you know. So the four yeah. is definitely like we're super nice, and then we're like just I'm done now go away you know what I mean yes, like, yes. And I, I love that though I love that because I just I bloody lean into it darling I just lean into it and sit there and gosh there can be that aloofness can't there, there really can be that I'm I'm not no no just no um yeah. but then also super happy to be in our our my community and however that is on the day yeah um the two yeah like I'm I'm totally I guess you have to pull me out of my own space. And normally it's a very happy space. I'm just, I could just be sat there like, la, 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 <laughs> hermiting naturally in my weird brain space. You know what I mean? Right. Having a time of my life on my own. And <laughs> I guess it, it, the hermitude for me, like that, that being alone is even when I'm with people though, I just go into my own little world if I need to. Right. And then it's almost like, oh, back to earth. Where are you? Oh, I'm here with lots of people. Oh, um, <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I lean into it. You know. Oh, yeah, How about you? I, oh, oh, that's so fascinating with the six. I want to get into it, but I wanted to ask a little bit more about the second energy. Like, oh, go on. especially they talk about the importance of the calls and like feeling recognized and calls that felt good. And you yeah. mentioned that, you know, I'm in my happy space and then being interrupted or being called, even yeah. though the call yeah. is lovely. How did you notice that tension when you like before you found human design? Uh, yeah, probably, darling. I mean, it's I'm so aware of it now that I can't believe I ever didn't officially know about it. I'm really aware now of when people disturb me, but it's only because I'm having a ball, like I'm having a laugh, doing my own little thing. It's only because I'm doing something super fun or I'm trying to learn or study but married with that, that really buzzy MG energy, it's almost like I have I have all the energy to yeah. do the thing I'm natural at and enjoying and the process, the creativity, whatever it is I'm doing. Ma- married with, excuse me, sort of being called out and also having the energy for that person. It's like I've got energy for everything and I've got to be careful how thinly spread Ooh. I can right. like apply myself, you know. Um yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of hermiting. There's a lot of alone time, even with lots of kids. I always yeah. find the time, like I create the time. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like you can be single deaf definition. Um, you can have a two. Yeah. You can have a two um, and you can have lots of people around you. I feel because you can mm. just go inward. <laughs> Peppa Pig is on. And Joey is in her own little world, you know. <laughs> right, right. You know. Oh. And then I have the energy. But I, I do, that's the thing, you, you've got to be careful. Then the people pleasing comes in and the undefined heart comes in. But I, I, I feel like I've I feel like I've worked that out really quick since our study in human design. I've really been like, there's been such permission, like Joe, you don't have to please anyone. I've become oh. more aloof than ever. Yeah. But lovely, yeah. But then I'm switched on and I'm yours, you know. Right, right. It's almost like even with your kids, you're probably very excited to want to spend time with them and all of that. But also, right. oh, I might need some time to just rest yeah. a little. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that even just looks like us moving into a bit of a bigger house at the minute. So that I have, I'm looking at a room that's over there that I'm going to be decorating. There is going to be that hermit hole. And that's got yeah, my yeah. name. <laughs> Joe's <laughs> room. <laughs> <laughs> But just it's sort of like being close, but detaching as well, and being a crawl away from babies, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just having Somehow your space. It work. Yeah, and just knowing that's what works for you. It doesn't mean, especially like the people pleasing part. When I learn about my design, I'm like, oh, I do have a defined heart, and I am incredibly like conditioned to people please <laughs> with the four yeah, yeah. energy right like you're yeah. like hey how's it going you're like you're friendly yeah. and then afterwards I I don't understand like that wasn't like why do they want to stay attached <laughs> I've had enough yeah. but like don't you yeah. have enough <laughs> like so when I learned about the friendliness fatigue and then the people pleasing I was like yeah. oh that explains a lot of like why I felt so drained 
feeling the tension like I want to connect and also like that's enough like isn't it enough for you why do you want more (laughs) yeah but also project the type though as well like that energy even like even you say in the words is that not enough (laughs) have they not recognized that I'm done (laughs) (laughs) yes am I being invited for more I'm I'm curious about like you know your your sacral energy like do you notice that people want more of it sometimes (laughs) um oh well do you know I or they expect you to always be turn up yeah my I guess my energy always has felt like a lot um god you've got to be a certain type of personality almost to deal with the energy that you do put out I put out a lot of energy and I learned from a very very young age that I'm actually not for everyone (laughs) you know what I mean it can feel like a lot and I guess it's all the either the non sacral people going it's been two minutes I can't take another look at your face you know I can't take it anymore but it's been like that all my life you know in school I remember like feeling like a lot but there's a there's a deep confidence I've said this before you know there's always this confidence in me that's just like well you're for me or you're not even before I knew about human design so people seek more if they're my people you know we could talk the lingo yeah, I'm always going to be pulling in my two, four, my four people, aren't I? And the rest can fall away. <laughs> yeah. And they do fall away. And that's okay. There has to be confidence there, doesn't it? Um, and almost like a bit of a, a thick shell, a hard skin to know that your buzziness, your busyness, mm-hmm. your sacralness, your, your everythingness. Uh, ultimately, it's just for me, isn't it? And I pick up people along the way, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's for you and the people. right people. Yes, yeah. the right people. Yeah. It, I think it makes such a huge difference being in, like, the right community for you versus what is ideal on paper. Because I've been in places yeah. that were ideal on paper. I'm like, whoa, this is the best thing ever. And then once I was yeah. there, I felt, I guess, as a projector, not recognized, not seen totally darling I can almost picture what you're saying are you talking about like a court like a court not a corporate thing but like, like a are you talking about like a setting that would be good for work or something I can just yes it yes, in a yes. Thing I've been in settings it. like for entrepreneurs and all that that had like yeah. the best focus and then I was yeah. there and every time every interaction I've had just felt icky <laughs> totally and that's your unkind yeah. G saying no thanks <laughs> yes yes but my defined heart is like oh maybe like if I talk to them a little bit more or maybe it's like oh we're just a different yeah. culture like oh make excuses yeah. maybe not just the heart and other parts of my design but I'm like okay maybe yeah. it's just but then I realized in other instances like you and me when it buys when it feels good I don't yeah. need to try so hard or convince oh myself my God. not at all darling yeah yeah and it'll always come back to that four I just feel like the profile is so pertinent it really does show up and your yeah. community and your undefined g are asking you and me to find to find our people and like maybe they're the ones we need to focus on if you're going to people please anyone yeah <laughs> i know we will naturally be doing that you know right. it's for our existence isn't it it's for our evolution to like keep our community close yeah and they're the ones that matter don't they yeah you know because we experience yeah. so many people in life darling and it just feels a bit permission slippy to be like, screw the ones that don't feel right. It doesn't matter who they are, if they're family, if yeah. they're friends with friends. Yes. There's, a, there's an energy of not caring over here, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say not, well, kind of not caring, but also very rooted in yourself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know okay. you asked something about the six energy before I got excited <laughs> and yeah. asked you about the second. Well, just the, just to be an unconscious and role model vibes. Are you gelling with it? Are you aware of something at play? I think I've, so when I first read about the four and the six, I resonated with the six a little bit more, but I think it was actually my gate 48. That's my son. So that's Ooh, like yeah. the gate of death. 
so everybody like death not death <laughs> the well and that's something that mm. I would just say like for because when I see the transcripts a lot of the words that I say like rest gets translated to get transcribed to breast I'm like how many times have I said breast in this thing do I not pronounce my words right <laughs> Did you hear me say a B? Did anyone hear a B? I'm like, okay, this thing on? let's clarify. Yeah, is this thing on? Let's clarify just in case. Deaf, the well. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that was the energy I was like connecting to because I felt like there was a, sometimes I could like connect with a lot of like, you know, deaf. I didn't resonate with the network because I had a lot of healing to do around that. I moved around so much when I was growing up. I changed mm. environments a lot that I never felt like I was truly rooted or grounded or connected to anything until, you know, just after some healing, I'm like, I'm connected to everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am everyone. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> but then I reading about the stages of the six and, you know, the mm. first trial and error, I'm like, yes. The yeah. first 30 years of my life was, let's try it out. Why not? And I had the energy for it. Yeah. And then after I slipped, I think around 27, yeah. 28, that was when I like, I'm going to quit my career. I'm sick of doing advertising. Uh, wow. And that's the Saturn, really, uh, Saturn yeah. return, right? Yeah. That was the yeah. energy. And once wow. it took me into, I guess, the healing phase, I feel so much more yeah. like aloof, like, oh yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't have FOMO anymore. I don't want to try yeah. or prove anything. Yeah. I just want to sit back. Amazing. Yeah. And I can so cool. sense, yeah, that aloof energy of like, I'm on the roof. I am literally on the roof. And sometimes you I do literally. have trouble coming down. Yeah. Like I understand that metaphor. The more I explore, I'm like, yeah, yeah. like I need to really have the energy. Things need to be really aligned and great for me to want to come down and engage yeah. in whatever matter it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that then will be your truth. So it feels like if you're going to come down, it best be worth it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Best be worth it. It better be aligned. It better be the right job opportunities. Yeah. It better be the right invitations. And it, yeah, it took, you know, especially with the scarcity mindset. And yeah. I noticed that when I went back to my parents, because they were asking like, oh, so what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I paused on some designs, but I recommended it to some friends. And they're like, but then you're not going to get a job. How can you give away clients? And then I was like, oh, oh my original no. conditioning, which I understand where they came from. <laughs> they were immigrants. Like oh, they didn't get a yeah. lot of opportunities back then. So yeah. like I could understand yeah. them and also know that this is not me anymore. So it was very really? fascinating to observe. So interesting. I feel like, as we get older it must be like a 30s thing it's got to be it's got to be a post Saturn return thing where it's like oh I'm not that person anymore though I'm not that person family friends whoever and I feel like there's a lot of six in a lot well there's a lot of three and six I feel in all of us in different ways so just because maybe I don't have that profile just because you don't have the two you obviously have the two in other areas we all have everything in other areas yes I feel like it's just it's just a thing isn't it post Saturn return we've all changed a bit yeah yours is heightened you are a rooftop away but how about um, yours hey how was your Saturn return did you notice well, that energy kind yeah. of shifting you know yeah I did and well when I look back I think yeah I did because when I was like 28 29 30 I stopped I was a nurse I was a, a general right. adult nurse for years and then we moved to Dubai. I'd been here a couple of years, but I stopped nursing and really wanted to go into the creative world more, like painting. I did a lot of digital, not graphic design like you, but just illustration and fun stuff yes. like that, you know. Gorgeous, gorgeous illustration. I'm going to plug yeah. your <laughs> Instagram. It's <laughs> yeah. page underscore rainbows underscore <laughs> designs, right? You've got the That's most it. gorgeous, colorful, like bright, vibrant yeah. art. Yeah. I, but you know I went into all that but really ultimately darling what happened when I was that age is that I became a mum yeah. like that was my Saturn return like that was the other side of that was being a mum um and I it's funny because since that we've been talking about this the last few years hey it feels like you know when people are like I want to have a kid but I'm 30 I heard that a lot growing up from sort yeah. of me probably from other people and I just think, did we innately know for the people who want to be parents, yeah. did we innately know that like something's going to shift? Ooh. It's almost like we knew we have to wait till we've, till we've not, not, listen, obviously not everyone waits till the return, but I just find it interesting. I felt I lent into that quite a lot without 
intentionally and realizing it at all. But yeah, I became a mum and I stopped nursing other people and became a nurse for my own tiny people, if you get me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. the, the very nurturer role while doing everything I love still, you know, so while designing. But then again, the MG comes into it, you know, so having the energy for everything and everyone that I love. Right. Um, so it was about creating life, I think, my Saturn return, creating life and just leaning into the creativity that's always been there, I've always been creating, you know, and not necessarily yeah. for other people. It's just sort of been this, it's my expression, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah, the energy, that's how your energy wants to move. Yeah, mm. in all the kaleidoscopic rainbow colours. <laughs> like it I works. need it. It's you, yeah. Kat, you need it, that's how it is. Yeah. Did you ever feel, because there's a lot of, um, I think a lot of MGs are deconditioning from the idea that they need to focus on one thing. Did you ever oh. feel that pressure? Uh, only like, um, only I guess in school where it's like, what do you want to be? I'm oh, like, yeah. um, everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> or a job that allows me to do lots of things. So I, I've had like, 17 18 plus jobs and I never got fired I was just always interested in lots of different things yeah and I've continued to do that so um there's just a honestly darling in me has always been this knowing that I get to do it however the hell I want Ooh, yes. so I never really felt like I never really felt the pressure because I was like I'm invariably going to be doing it my way anyway yeah yeah you're um, like it doesn't work any other way <laughs> yeah I just have like so no no, I didn't really feel pressured. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was very easy for me to go. I'm not a nurse anymore. Yeah. I'm now a mum, and now I'm creatively designing the world around me, and but always with spirituality and you know astrology, and then human design seeping in, and just like working people out. It's all the thing is, I'm everything. You know, I'm still a nurse. I'm still doing creative work. I'm still I'm doing everything because as either MG, like a bit of everything, or it's just me being me, like I am nothing and everything, you know? Yeah, yeah. like just because you don't do it full time doesn't mean you stop being that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so interested in everything I've ever done. Yeah, I've done yeah. I've wanted to, you know? Yeah, and be allowing yourself to embrace that, like permission. Anybody who's yeah. listening, like permission to just embrace the things you want to do, period. You don't need yeah, to yeah. justify it or prove it to anyone. And that feels very open identity center as well of me, you know, just oh, you're like, completely open. I'm completely open. Yeah. So oh, like, that must be fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is fun, you know, and I, I think that's probably like the, one of the biggest things that's shown up in my life is that very accepting and embracing of the other, because mm -hmm. I felt a bit like all over the shop, all over the place. You know, and just like definite permission for undefined and open identities just to like see what they feel like on the day. Like, who are you? Who am I? Who yeah. knows? Who cares? <laughs> so. Yes. Yes. And like something that I've noticed because I have my G center undefined that and with my defined heart that when I follow like my splenic desires, my direction yeah. always get reveals to me like the next step. Yeah. I might not know the whole blueprint. And in your Absolutely. case, I guess responding to what you want to create responding to that yeah. shows you the next step for now yeah and it might change <laughs> exactly it is for now though we're both very for now aren't we hey you know what i mean it does we're both our or not our responses but our authority splenic and a very quick mg vibe you know it is just like well how, how what we fancy in today peeps what's going on today what do i desire today what light me up today <laughs> yes yeah it, for some reason you reminded me i was at a coffee shop and every time i'm at a coffee shop or like public space if there's like an empty seat somebody's gonna come they're gonna pop by <laughs> and i like sometimes i just don't want to sometimes people are telling me about their lives and then this time it was at a coffee shop where there's only three tables two of them were like completely packed i'm like okay if somebody comes let like, prepare for it but look busy and unapproachable <laughs> it just in case <laughs> so i'm like on my phone like working doing some mini readings and then this guy's like can i sit i'm like sure and then like down on my phone like let him have yeah, the space yeah. but also like not yeah. open the window for connection yeah, yeah. and then but because i was just typing and really 
putting an effort to not <laughs> like yeah. open any opportunity of conversation he was like yeah. what have you been typing for so long it's been like more than half an hour if it's an email why don't you just call them and I'm just yeah. like I could have laughed but I was like I'm curious where you're gonna go so I'm like okay I'm like well it's just you know some work and I enjoy what I do so I don't mind it and he's like oh I wouldn't be able to I'm like oh and I smiled oh, but I knew he wanted more oh, like, what do you do I'm like oh how do I describe all the roles we do <laughs> to a stranger I'm like you know what I'm waiting for my husband who's about to finish an appointment anyways I have time to kill <laughs> why yeah. not yeah and I told him well the one that makes the most sense for people like designer and then I was like you yeah. know what I'm also a coach I help people from burnout yeah. and then he asked me but which one is the most successful business and what I was like oh I'm like you you want to go there questions. right I'm like mm, I mean whichever brings me joy I get to do a little bit of everything and yeah. he and that's you know his perception his mindset I noticed he was like no but you have to you can't focus on more than one thing. You have to be the best wow. in one thing. Otherwise, wow. how are you going to, what's bringing the money? And if I hadn't done all my healing, if I hadn't done anything, I would be like, oh, I need to prove myself. But I was like, well, I don't measure like success is what works for me. He's like, well, how, mm -hmm. how do you like you, how are you like the best in Canada, the best in Toronto? I'm like, I don't need to be the best. I just yeah. need to help people as long as I help and guide them and they pay me for it and they're happy about yeah. it. I've done my yeah. job. And he, yeah. I could see that he was like, I don't know. He like listened to it, but it wasn't an answer he was looking for. No. And he's like, oh, but well, hmm. like he didn't know how to respond to that. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, well, you know, I think you need to have a direction and a vision and all of that, you know, what I think a yeah. lot of people yeah. learn, you know, very left brain, like thinking about a strategy, thinking yeah. about how to approach things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it works for some people. I just learned it doesn't work for me. And I was very comfortable in my, like, I figured it out for myself, so I don't need to prove to you. And then he goes like, so there's this logo <laughs> that I need. I'm like, oh, there you go. Because I know sometimes, oh a lot God. of times, people want something. Either it's a conversation yeah. they want to listen to, but then when he found out I was a designer, he wanted something. I'm like, I'm wow. sorry, I don't have time for that. He's like, you yeah. don't, but this is like a quick job. You can make money. I'm like, but I don't have time for that. I'm like, yeah, I can yeah, ask yeah. around some friends if you want, but he's like he couldn't understand it he was just kind of in shock I'm like yeah. okay have a nice day gotta go now <laughs> bye it just sounds like all his conditioning talking like well you have to have one thing and they make money and yeah. blah, 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 blah. were you this close to asking him his time time and date of birth <laughs> yeah I was I, I was just like your design more, like where does this come from and then you know we all have these stories that we carry some are like heavily conditioned some society some are maybe it's him trying to force himself to find a direction or like he yeah. moved to Canada recently. He's like, things are so different now and it's harder. So, you know, so I understand where he's coming from, but I'm also able to not take it in and feel, Oh, you think I'm not doing yeah. well? Oh my gosh. Everyone is so conditioned in our own way. And even when we're not conditioned or we feel like we're not, we still are. We are. Yeah. But is it supporting the person, the random person in the coffee shop that you're talking to? Like, <laughs> don't put that on me please thanks <laughs> yeah okay. he's like you need Get to like okay let's cut this short but thank I you have a great day I heard the word need <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> need and I like, quit <laughs> I'm like yeah it just sucked what was the point of that <laughs> yeah although it, it had such there was such um what's the word I'm looking for there was such hope there he was he sounded like really interesting and going the right path and then it becomes yeah you need, yes. you could you could you would you know unsolicited because, advice yeah I think just because mm -hmm. my my beliefs or my way of being or couldn't click to him yet yeah he was probably curious like what are you doing in the middle of a coffee shop why are you typing so curiously so whatever story he made of me and whatever <laughs> if I responded he's like what that makes no yeah. sense <laughs> I'm going to ask you more questions <laughs> yeah I was like okay that was fun now I'm exhausted <laughs> the friendliness is done <laughs> okay, the meanness has come up the fourth line <laughs> barrier walls are up yeah I'm going to look yeah. like this <laughs> I'm like have a good day bye <laughs> <laughs> um something that I've been dying to ask you we'll go on. is sometimes you share about your kids designs and how mm. you know how you truly see them 
tell me how you've incorporated all of that into your everyday life and your family life. Oh God, darling. I mean, my three kids are three different types. Oh, and what are two? Um, well, my daughter Indigo, she is an emotional generator, so she's my first, the first love of my life that I've had to really, I really experienced a lot with her, and her, her wave, I guess, is individual, and it's like. 3955 and 2838 and all that or 3828 um so that was interesting like oh god there's so much to say but when you are not emotional with emotional kids it's a trip and you love them so much and it's never ending and it's beautiful and they're riding their waves so they're six months old you've been a mum for six months and there's a lot of emotions going on I'm taking it all in and then my second born buddy, he's five now and he's an emotional projector. Too which of emotional course, so far. Yeah. So I didn't know anything about him being a projector or emotional or anything. And yeah, and again, so that was a trip. Beautiful and a trip. And he's got the full stream of sensitivity. So he's got the 1949 and the 3740. So he, oh. I can see it in him all day now. This, you know, you haven't met my need his emotional wave, I can really, I'm looking over there like he's on the couch, he's not, but I can see it. He's not even here and I can feel it. He yeah. is like, my daughter will be in a mood, bless her. And I know to yeah. leave her be then, you know, or nurture however she needs, but you're in your little wave of a mood and that's gonna, you're gonna come out of that whenever you're ready sort of thing. But he really does involve the other in his emotional wave because it is about the other often. Yeah. You didn't meet my need, mummy. Um, and but it's been wonderful yeah. because I'm here to experience it all. You know, of course, of Eden. This my son is the sixth, and then thirty six Earth, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm bringing out the crisis in others to to heal us all, I guess, and to learn to experience. Not <laughs> that's what that was for, and still is. And then my third baby boy, Rocco. He's oh, thank the Lord. He's a sacral MG. <laughs> oh. <laughs> non-emotional so I must say people say like he seems really chilled and that's because we both are together quite yeah. chilled you know and then who uh, so who knows what number four is and please be a manifesto that'd be really fun I'd <laughs> have like one of each or a reflector or whatever oh, and, right. um I'm joking I'm not collecting types although <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> you want to watch I? them you want to watch them what is your husband's design well he's a self-projected projector <sighs> So your husband's a generator, hey? Sacral, sacral generator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah, my husband's a, he, he's slower and he amplifies my sacral, obviously. And I've had to sort of teach us both to like let him release me, <laughs> release right. that, you know, is a lot. Um but as a projector, I would say sometimes he's wide open emotionally as well very interesting wide open he he's a six two he needs a space we both need our space we're both single definition our kids are split in various ways which is also very interesting so we're all needing each other in other ways but we're all needing our time alone it's all very interesting darling but and it's not perfect but it's a continual sort of evolution day to day i'm very very conscious of like even without human design in the back of my head, I'm very conscious of our energies mm -hmm. and how they are each three kid, each of them right. needs nurturing and parenting in a very different way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because we are, we are dragging our kids up the same, aren't we? Ultimately, <laughs> I think we still are. Um, unless there's a bit of an education, a bit of a spiritual education there that goes a bit further than just like raising the same kid. That's what I hate. I I see it around us all, you know, like people raising a generator, mm. a happy generator that has to do everything that they're told and stuff. It's just, I'm just not about it, darling. Yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of happiness in this house. And I'd say there's a lot of chaos in a magical way because, because yeah, it's okay to have 10 more minutes of watching a TV. Yeah. It's okay to not sit at the table. Yeah. It's okay. Just I nearly said just be happy. They don't need to be happy either. Just 
it's honoring like moment to moment how my kids are you know if how they want to show up as well. mood, you don't have to be happy for me now you don't have to do anything for me now you don't have to do anything I don't know it's just um there are boundaries there are delicate rules but the rules often involve feeling expressed you know mm. no matter what age yeah there's like wide open throats and two of those babes more interesting you know and it just yeah. I'd be careful not to say I can't hear you little Indy you know wide open throat just like not sure sometimes of when to, when she's saying stuff or not very right. interesting and it's just me being conscious to like not talk over them you know not yeah, to be yeah. too generator too MD <laughs> over them you know <laughs> right and gosh I'm so excited <laughs> for when I have kids and older designs oh, because even yeah. though that doesn't take away from the chaos of what parenting is or how hard some days could be mm. but it just gives you a window of understanding and allowing everybody to exist as they are yeah. and that doesn't look whatever tv story picture book perfect yeah. it, it is how yeah. it is yeah and it's messy and fun and it's taken into consideration everyone in the home, isn't it? You yeah. know, it's taken into consideration, you know, mummy and daddy, daddy and daddy, mummy and mummy, whoever. It's taken into everyone's energy on that day. And it can be a lot of work or I guess you sort of let it flow with some knowledge in the background, with some sort of energetic support seeping through, you know. Mm, I love how you put it. Yeah, because it's not like it's a manual for how to raise your kids because yeah. there will be times where they're going to push your boundaries as children do regardless yeah, of their design. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So how do you like parent in a way where you're setting boundaries and also allowing them to live their design? Yeah. 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 But then, you know, it, it's easy to sort of like, um, people, you know, have tended to say, how do you do it? How do you have the energy? I know I, seem calm and stuff and I say I'm calm and I'm peaceful and ultimately I'm quite content in myself mm -hmm. oh, what we're trying to say like but that doesn't mean that other people's experiences of being a parent are similar to mine all I know is I'm doing right by myself you know what I mean yes. um there are calm moments there are not so calm moments but do we go to bed peaceful in some way you know yeah Peaceful yeah. that we've done the best, I don't know, oh. that we can. No. Yes, yes. And I think even for like the parenting world, there's so much pressure to do things a certain way or to make sure your kids are X, Y, and Z yeah. that we lose ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here yeah. you talk about like, it worked for me. I've done my best. It's just so permission giving. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. 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 And can we say that, like, can we say the same about ourselves? You know, if you looking at the reparenting aspect and the sort of deconditioning it has to start with us though doesn't it yeah. you know when you're a parent in the future whenever that is if when however you know are you okay and then they're okay really whether that's sitting on the couch watching telly because no one has the energy to do anything else <laughs> or that's spending a hundred pound two hundred dollars on something fun and stimulating outside of the house it doesn't really matter how it shows up darling it's yeah are you good am I good are they good and then it's all simpatico somewhere yeah. in between that you know <laughs> and then you kind of take it one day at a time right that's really what you can do yeah 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 one emotion at a time though <laughs> wait but you have two emotionals do you notice the non-emotionals amplifying their energies very quickly like uh, picking it up something's wrong or they're feeling this um yeah do you know I feel like I'm the neutral though in between so like yes all of them I think will amplify each other and pick things up in certain ways the emotionals or not the emotionals sounds like a <laughs> thick series isn't it yeah um, it sounds weird I, I, there has to be a better <laughs> way of saying it <laughs> um yeah we will all you know amplify and push each other's buttons and boundaries and stuff but personally I feel relatively neutral mm. so I, I buffer things and I take things in and then I have to clear that though hey because we do take it all in you and I take it all in yeah you know what I mean so yeah it can be a lot I, I think as people who 
don't have the wave a process we just take it in we just are people aren't we we just yeah. are people in a lot of openness we just are people and we have but we have to I have to I'm saying this for you and I more, more so be out loud now we have to sort of find a way of sort of clearing that yeah and really remaining sweet. however however our nervous system like wants to chill how how I want to respond to brief chaos it's just a deep bloody breath isn't it you know deep breath and just grounding somehow back into whatever magic feels alive you know yeah yeah like yeah whatever your needs are at this moment just like tune back and look at the energies almost from like an outside view instead of like feeling it all or like feeling all the stress feeling all you know the pressure of everything and also okay it's there step back not in a way that we're disassociating (laughs) stepping back because I've done that too in the past with my emotions I'm like let me shut it down (laughs) but in a way of like curiosity it's like okay this is what it is what do I need right now to ground myself okay let's come back and do whatever needs to be done yeah yeah and I think as the mg buzzes through me I have to learn to try to stop a bit more I guess Mm, what I'm ways? feeling pretty chill now you know um well I guess you know for both of us it's going to be in connection isn't it it's going to be in community like when we used to come off our art calls our our human design course people I would feel so calm I would mm-hmm. feel so like centered on and I'm sure well I see I can't speak for everyone but I did um and that's because our fourth line vibes are coming in and I know it's because I am I felt in community. So for me personally, I might do a seven to 29 minute voice note. What's that <laughs> message to people I love or, you know, right. I think for me, it's, it's not always, it's actually not always hermiting away. It, it probably is. It might be hermiting away, but it's, it's with someone close. Doing you know something. I mean? Right, 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 right. And yeah. finding that, that your own, not formula, but your own way. Right. Because yeah. There has been so many instances where we take in the information and we're like, an MG, you're supposed to be moving all the time. But then we were seeing this chart where it was a 1-3 MG that had, yeah. I think their expression go, uh, gates were either like 12, like 13, yeah. was it 13 or 12, which is like, you need a time away. And it was in the gate two. So I'm like, yeah, well, oh, they might yeah. want to do a lot of things, but they yeah. need to actually be in their own process, do their research, feel safe in their yeah. foundation before yeah. they come up. So their busyness is doing research, sitting on a couch. Yeah. Research. Absolutely. And my busyness is is chilling when I know to chill. Here come children. Yeah, here come children. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been an hour already. Are you okay? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, we'll say hi. Hi. Um, daddy's with them. Um, oh, sorry, Diane. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, my process would be to rest actually whenever we need it, especially with our undefined roots. Are you open? Are you undefined? I'm undefined. I have like three, Let four gates coming out okay. of it. <laughs> I've got one coming out of it. Yeah. So I think it's honoring it's honoring the root as well, isn't it? There's so there's so much it honors, you know what I mean, in our rest phase or our waiting to be invited or my MG buzziness. It, a lot of it is rooted in rest, waiting to respond to the right thing. Yes. I feel like it's not going the other way around. Sometimes I am like chilling. Yeah. Waiting for the perfect thing, you know what I mean? I think every design has to wait. Like even as a manifestor, until their urge builds up for the yeah. next thing. Yeah. we're all waiting yeah. so how can we get really good in the waiting where we don't feel like we're actually waiting we're just doing our own thing and then yeah. something comes along the way yeah 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 how lovely and that is permission I feel also to really focus on what is bringing the success or steering away bitterness what is bringing satisfaction and steering away frustration and, and all the rest of the magical types you know it's it's giving space to I'm actually not going to move until <laughs> I know that it's going to be satisfying right yes. I've, I've 
I feel like a 12 year old in a 38 year old body. Often I'm just like, no, no, not, not doing it. Not interested. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause yeah, I know yeah. how that's not going to light me up and I'm not interested, but I might get a wave. I might, I might be interested in like half an hour, but, but not that's right also now. interesting. Yeah. Just not right now. Yeah. And being okay with that and trying to teach people around me. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> Right. Being so in tune with yourself and also communicating when, okay, I can't do this. Or maybe, okay, I know I have to do this, even though I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, and I think, I know, I know you're about to sit me down, but dead quick. The single definition is what I see, I, I'm talking now. God, it's you can keep on going, actually. No, I'm just no. worried, more worried about your kids who want to know attention. Self-projected daddy is talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so quick like the single definition thing because we're both single deaf hey I also feel like being single definition and taking in uh, there's a balance between like wanting to be on our own track and be super fast and on our own process and being a four and being a four it's like marrying our community with our need for aloneness or quiet time or focus because we're single definition and we're on our own sort of fast-paced trajectory even as a projector you're excited about something yeah. it's being a little bit single focused sometimes but allowing our four in as well I just find that really interesting Ooh. allowing our community in you know yes and it yes. is a balance because it, I don't I the point is I don't think it is always it can't always be perfect and it can't always necessarily be aligned but it can be as close to as yes. you know yes because nothing ever what is perfect it's an illusion because yeah, yeah, when yeah. life happens there's infinite variables that we cannot control and mm -hmm. I totally relate with like as a single definition and I'm still learning about the variables but I'm quite left so I can be tunnel yeah. focused if I get wow. excited about something I need to do psh, you've lost me and that is yeah. one of the hardest parts like you know being in a pandemic in a relationship sometimes I felt like I didn't come out of my bubble yeah, and because I, I'm tunnel focused, but I'm also amplifying the energies around me. And then I'm feeling like, oh, like I need alone time. Like I need to release this energy because I need to finish this. That it's yeah. taken a lot of awareness and work to say like, you like the undefined route, like you do not need to try to push through this. Like the people yeah. in your life matter, make yeah. space for dinners, make space for calls, yeah. make space to like, you know, spend time with yeah. me. Those little yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah. like the single definition and like, and then sometimes I'll be like, but you're also single definition. Why do you want to connect right now? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wait, wait, no, you're getting too deep into this. Come out of it. Oh, so I'm grateful God. for the people in my life that are like pulling me out when I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's just so much to it, isn't it, Ellen? There's so yeah. much to it. There's so much. There's yeah. always more and more layers. And really I is. stop feeling that I need to learn all of it. It's more like, oh okay if I'm curious dive in but I totally. like very similar to how you open this conversation like I'm at a place where I know who I am I know where I'm at I will lean on the tools that support me but I'm not yeah. searching for yeah. anything oh yeah. god yeah but yeah. if a magical book did pop up I'm okay <laughs> I'm gonna okay. read it. Yeah. You know I'll be devouring <laughs> my quiet left way devouring it's like excuse me <laughs> oh darling how funny oh Yay. my gosh so thank quick, you it? so Welcome quick <laughs> so so quick I'm like let's do another episode later eventually Aww. when life when life calls for it but I do want to wrap yeah, this up with some like rapid fire questions oh, are you on. are you down for them <laughs> uh, yeah I'm down for everything darling go 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 I know what's the best compliment you've ever received oh oh crap I don't know um best compliment do you know oh the second line in me is like, I don't realize, I don't know what you mean, but I guess it's like, you, you're you pretty calm. I don't know how you do it. I think is the ultimate compliment because I'm like, oh, well, I just do do it. It's very easy to, for me to just get on with it. Yeah. That's not the best, but it's it comes up a lot and it feels nice because I'm like, oh, I must be doing something all right then. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right. It kind of recognizes yeah. a part of you that you don't notice how many people don't, don't have, don't, don't, yeah. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you all not just getting on with it sort of thing? I don't know. Something like that. Just, oh, yeah. oh, I'm doing, maybe I'm doing all right. You know, yeah. 
Mm. I don't always see it, darling. I don't always yeah. see it. I, just, I do just sort of listen to what people say. That wasn't yeah. a quick, rapid answer. I'm sorry, but mm, it's this always catches people off guard, and I kind of <laughs> love it because they're like, "Oh my god." <laughs> Um, a book that's changed your life a book um, or movie or song whatever oh, format oh, everything darling so but a book <laughs> I bought a few times because I thought I'd lost and hadn't is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle oh, I have not Eckhart read Tolle. that yet. I haven't finished it in true MG style I just read the same pages over and over but the great pages that like, <laughs> yes. the chapters darling that I just love I just keep buying another album an album I've bought similar in a similar vein to that is the Wham's greatest hits but I you know Wham like George Michael I've like never the early 80s that. no um, <laughs> music you know what just a quick overall classical music brings it out of me mm. classical music but I love hip-hop I love a dirty beat I love everything yeah classical music I just put it on every single day and my 12th gate goes oh that's <gasps> how you're feeling just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what's the first thing you do when you wake up? Uh, oh, do you know, always tapping into how I feel. Mm. Which and not everyone does. <laughs> I don't do it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what do I have to do today? Not the yeah, best. I do that as well, darling. But, you know, I think the first thing I'm doing is acknowledge, especially recently, acknowledging that I'm feeling pretty cool. Mm. Oh. and then waiting for the waiting for people to like come into my space and then I'm like oh <laughs> hello <laughs> hello there <laughs> oh, I was peaceful and then <laughs> yeah I like that just checking in darling wondering yeah. if my pistols are still in my bra and then <laughs> <laughs> oh. um what does coming home mean to you oh that's a nice question Coming home hmm, is just always, for me personally, it's always peace, darling. Hmm. It's calm in even chaos. Hmm. To me, home is that calm feeling, even when I'm amongst any chaos in a really loud space. It's just always being cool with my calm. That's home. That's home. What would you like more of? Oh, um, there's always room for more calm. There, there is more room for peace between people. Mm. Yes. You know, peace and rest amongst different energies and vibes. And yeah, just a uh, ease. I think there could be more ease in life for people, for certain people, maybe. Yes. Like things get to be joyful and easy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like I'd like to live by that more. I think I'd like more people to live with it as well, you know. Yeah. Even when things are hard, you can find joy in little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's massive and that's all day. And I would <laughs> like that for more people. Mm, same here, Liz. Just zing it out to people. Any advice or words for your younger self? Ah, oh, babe, you do right. You're good. Just oh. keep going. You know what I mean? Just I don't know. I never doubted myself if I'm honest. I've never really just keep going. Yeah. Know that you will change and shift perspectives one day oh so keep going keep going and where can people find you you also do readings yeah I do, do you I do talk a little bit about them where can people get a bit of joe <laughs> magic well, I'm I am Instagram I'm solely Instagram at the minute I'm beige rainbow designs a couple of underscores thrown in you guess people can work it out you know <laughs> I'll add the, it in the show notes <laughs> or you can explore <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I'm like yeah I'm totally loving beginning this journey of readings to who's called to it and knowing that my people will want it from me when they're ready Mm -hmm. very interested in ch our children very interested in people's children and family dynamics connection charts all that I'm not business-led so I'm not like 
I'll work out your business thing personally. I'm very interested in you and your family. You know what I mean? Very interested. So yeah. Yeah, as you can tell through this entire call, like what are the dynamics of me, my family? How do I navigate that in a way that brings me calm and also supports them in the best way? Yeah. 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 But only involves my family. Like I'm I'm not interested. I'm interested in everyone's family, but I'm only interested in how we focus on each other and then how they scream from the shower after the school. <laughs> I'm interested in their joy and then sharing that with other families at some point, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then amplifying that when it's time. Yeah, totally, darling. Totally. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Joe. I know we can go for another hour properly. Yeah, I'm sure oh, we could, darling. Done. You know, then you, you need a rest and I'd need something sugary. <laughs> <laughs> something sugary, and they probably need mama. <laughs> look at what we've been doing uh, <laughs> isn't that fun yeah thank you so much you. joe for your energy and for uh, sharing from the heart so many moving reflections uh, thank you thanks jess darling it's been gorgeous thank uh, you sweetie. thank you <laughs> thank you so much for listening to the whole and unleashed podcast if you're feeling pulled to get into action and want to connect women check out the aligned and Embody journal on wholeandunleashed.com. You'll also find resources on mindset, human design, and archive for past episodes of this podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, please share, leave a comment or review on iTunes and Spotify. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day wherever you are.